Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Joystick News, where we dive deep into the latest and greatest in gaming. Today, we're talking about a title that's been generating a ton of buzz lately, and for all the right reasons. I'm here to share my thoughts on Stellar Blade, a game that's been hailed as 2024's answer to Bayonetta. So, grab your favorite snack, kick back, and let's get into the nitty-gritty of what makes Stellar Blade a potential game-changer. Stellar Blade is catching everyone's attention, especially those of us who have a soft spot for the stylish action genre. It's like the developers took a look at hack and slash, RPG, and third-person shooter elements, tossed them into a blender, and the result. A game that feels both familiar and fresh. It's drawing comparisons to heavyweights like Nier, Automata, and of course Bayonetta, thanks to its mix of fashionable heroines, a diverse cast of enemies, and combat that's as cinematic as it is exhilarating. Now, let's talk setting and storyline because Stellar Blade isn't just about looking cool while taking down baddies. Set on a post-apocalyptic Earth, we follow Eve, a warrior determined to free humanity from the clutches of alien invaders known as Natibas. With the fate of the last human city, Chin, hanging in the balance, Eve teams up with characters like Adam and Lily in a narrative that promises depth beneath its action-packed surface. But here's where my opinion starts to kick in. What sets Stellar Blade apart, and could it truly stand shoulder to shoulder with Bayonetta? First off, the influence of Nier. Automata is unmistakable, from the thematic parallels to the inclusion of support drones and characters named Adam and Eve. It's clear that Stellar Blade is paying homage to some of the greats in the genre. Yet, it's the Bayonetta vibes that have me intrigued. Bayonetta set the standard for stylish action games with its blend of sass, style, and over-the-top combat. Stellar Blade seems to be walking a similar path, boasting a variety of costumes for Eve and a roster of enemies that could easily fit into Bayonetta's world. The spiritual and aesthetic touches borrowed from both Bayonetta and Nier. Automata gives Stellar Blade a rich backdrop to unleash its fast-paced, combo-heavy combat. However, what could truly cement Stellar Blade's place as 2024's Bayonetta is its gameplay. We're looking at linear missions within a world that encourages exploration, much like we've seen in Platinum Games' titles. The emphasis on reaction-based combat, combined with cinematic flair, is what could make Stellar Blade not just a spiritual successor to Bayonetta, but a worthy competitor in its own right. But, and there's always a, but, isn't there? The question remains whether Stellar Blade can deliver a cohesive experience that balances its inspirations with its own unique identity. The stylish action genre is a tough crowd to please, with fans cherishing the nuanced combat and character-driven stories of their favorite titles. So, here's my take. If Stellar Blade can nail the execution, paying homage to its predecessors while introducing elements that set it apart, it could indeed be the Bayonetta of 2024. It's not just about copying a formula, it's about building on it, adding new layers to the gameplay, and delivering a story that pulls us in and refuses to let go. As we eagerly await more details and gameplay footage, I remain cautiously optimistic. The potential is there, the ambition is clear, and now it's up to shift up to deliver a game that lives up to the hype. Will Stellar Blade be the next big thing in stylish action? Only time will tell, but I'll be here, controller in hand, ready to dive into whatever adventure awaits. Thanks for tuning in to Joystick News. If you're as excited about Stellar Blade as I am, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you won't miss any updates on this or any other gaming news. Until next time, keep gaming and remember, it's not just about playing, it's about experiencing the story. Catch you in the next one.